Hello and welcome to PE Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be show, uh, explaining what we mean by a sector, a segment, and a quadrant when we are talking about circle. So if we have a circle, so how do you know or identify a segment, or how do you draw a segment, a sector, or a, or a quadrant? So if you're interested in knowing all these things, if you're excited about that, kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to PE Academy if you are yet to subscribe to this channel. So to start with, the first thing I'm going to be drawing is to draw the circle so that we can explain uh, all these terms, segments, sector, and quadrants. So let me draw a circle here. So, so here is my circle. Now when we talk about a segment, a segment is a part of a circle bounded by an arc and a chord bonded by an arc and a chord that is a segment so now let's let's afford pick our arc so don't forget that the arc is a is a portion on the circumference of the circle so let's say i'm picking it from this point from this point let me call it point a to this point b to this point b now this represents our arc from point a to point b it represents our arc and don't forget a segment i say segment is a part of a circle bounded by an arc and a chord now we have we have our arc so let me draw a chord so that'll be from point a to point b and with this now this particular portion So now this particular portion is what we call the segment. It says that what a part of a circle bounded by an arc, by an arc from this point to this point, and a chord, and a chord. So this portion here is what we refer to as a segment. Segments. So now let's look at sector. It says that what a sector is a part of a circle bounded by two radii and an arc. So So two radii bounded by two radii and an arc. So let's pick another point as our arc. So let's pick from this point and then to this point as our arc. So let me label it point C and then point D. Now we have our arc. So now let's draw the uh, the two radii. So that's the plural of radius. So from this point, if I should draw it to the center of the circle which will give us our radius so this is the first radius so if I should draw the second radius so now I have so we, are, we have a, an arc which is from point C to point D and then two radii now this particular section this particular section that I'm shading So this particular section represents what the sector. This is what we call the sector, sector of a circle. So this particular part is what we refer to as a sector. So now let's look at what we mean by a quadrant. So to do that, also I'm also going to be drawing a circle on this part. So if you talk about a quadrant, you say a quadrant is a part of a circle bounded by two radii at right angle and an arc. So in a circle, we can we have um, what we call quadrant, and we have four quadrants. So you say that what it is a part of a circle bounded by two radii at right angle, at right angle and an arc. So that means if we have two radius at right angle to each other, it will give us what a quadrant. So the first thing I will do is or if you want to just draw an, uh, a quadrant, is to divide the circle into four equal parts. So this is what I mean. So now we have it in two equal parts. Two equal parts. So now let me divide it. 
so that I can use my protractor. So I'm looking for angle 90. So now this is this part is a quadrant. This is a quadrant. This is a quadrant, and this is a quadrant. So circles do have four quadrants. See that what is a part of a circle bounded by two radii. So if I want to pick only one quadrant to explain, uh, I prove another give you another better understanding of quadrant. So let me shade this part. So this part is also what is one quadrant. So So this is one quadrant, this is another quadrant, this is another and this is the fourth quadrant. So you but the important thing is for us is to know that a quadrant is what is a part of a circle bounded by two radii. So this is one radius, this is another radius. They are, they are at right angle to each other. So if you look at it, they are what, at right angle. This angle here is what is 90 degrees. So that's what it means that they are at right angle to each other and an arc. So that means from this point to this point, what is an arc. If that is, I don't talk about an, an arc. I say that it is a part what on the circumference of what of a circle. Two points on the circumference of a circle. So with that now we've been able to look at a sector so this is a circular portion is a segment this is a sector and this is a so i believe with that you've been able to know the difference between a sector a segment and a quadrant so if you find this video helpful kindly click on the subscribe button the subscribe to pa academy and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button and make sure you like and share this video and i'll see you all in another video thank you